Well, I've reached the next step in the uh, traffic light flashing system, or switching system, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm powering actual light bulbs now, and it's cycling through the whole process. First was green, then yellow, and then the top red, just like always. And I've had this going for probably an hour now, and triacs are still nice and cool. Um, the only strange, I got a little bit of a strange glitch, the first cycle, two or three cycles, when I first power this up, it skips the yellow light and goes direct from green to red, and after that, I haven't seen it skip that cycle yet. There's a little bit of, a little bit of difference in how I'm powering this up now as compared to the previous two videos because I needed to find a way to power the actual electronics, the 555 timers and so on and so forth on this. I just had one of those small um, sealed lead acid batteries that I was just plugging into and obviously I needed something a little bit more permanent than that so I've got a can't see it up there, I've got this all on out of the way now because I need to clean my workbench off really badly and do some other stuff but I've got basically just a standard bridge rectifier made from discrete diodes and a couple electrolytic capacitors for filtering and then I got that um, feeding into a little LM2595 adjustable module that I purchased a while back I come to find out I was going to actually build a use some of the uh, um, National Semiconductor simple switchers and build my own little power supply module but I came to find out I could go on one of the Chicom websites on eBay and get five of them for like six bucks so that was probably less money than what one of those simple chip simple switcher chips would actually even cost so I just purchased them and they seem to be working just fine but get a little bit of noise out of them because they're a switching power supply and I don't know if there's a little bit of a glitch going on because of that possibly but as you can see it's had its cycle without a hitch ever since then but the first two or three cycles it goes from green to red red to green green to red and then after that, it cycles normally just as it should. And I'm gonna, I may do a separate video on this little switching power supply and what I had to do to kind of clean up the signal coming out of it. And I guess one other change that I did make, since I do have this switching power supply rather than just a pure clean DC coming out of the battery, I put decoupling caps across pin 1 and 8 on each one of the 555s and maybe that changed something I don't know but anyways I'm gonna let this cycle for quite a while I have 40 watt light bulbs in it right now drawing about 0.35 amps so that's not too bad I would gonna recommend to this guy if he ever he still hasn't brought this actual traffic light to me if he ever finally does, I'm going to recommend putting maybe like a 25 watt bulb in here, just to more for a um, little bit less power draw. I'd rather not use a LED or a CFL due to the fact that then you have a little bit of an inductive component going on, and I'm going to have to do some uh, snubber work at that point. I don't believe I really for this purely resistive load I don't think I'm going to need any snubbers across the triax especially using the um, zero crossing photo triax the TLP 3042's so anyways I just thought I'd show the next step here and after I shit this off I may I have this on a tripod now so I'm not shaking around everywhere but I may just go over to the power supply and do a little video on how I went about to cleaning up the output on the DC on that. So I guess that's all for now.